All right, welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Why in the Morning. My name is Bai Moses or it's Bai Mo on social media and it's time for our first interview of the day. This gentleman right here has been from university to a music group and now doing his own thing. He goes by the name Uticus, which means patience, and is here to share his story with us. Karibu Ah, thanks. Uh, so for you days, <laughs> rather. <laughs> you got surprised. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> Isaac is I was fine. playing you there. I, I played you there. <laughs> right. Anyway, your camera is number four. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, you can introduce yourself just in case I missed anything. Yeah, my name is Uticus Tep Kenya uh -huh. uh, but I go by the name Fortunate. Mm -hmm. Utica means fortunate. Mm -hmm. I'm, an, I'm a creative entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. That means I double in a lot of fields uh -huh. and my gifts, yeah. All right. I'm so happy to be here. And I always like to have people like you on set, people uh, who have uh, different gifts and uh, yeah. explore their different gifts. Thank so you. your t shirt is. Uh, fortunate? Is you first. Yeah. This <laughs> is your merchandise. Yeah, yeah. And fortunate is your name. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, this is. Uh, I see a 1%. On the side, so yeah. fortunate one percent. Before we talk about anything, I'd like sure. to know what is this about. Uh, the one percent, uh -huh. uh, like in every society, mm -hmm. we you'll always hear that there is the lucky one percent, uh -huh. like the peop the elite, the people who have it, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's a far dream. Mm -hmm. We have the American dream, the Kenyan dream, but mm -hmm. only one percent people get to achieve that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. The concept of 1% is all about that all of us are made for greatness. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that those 1% that mm -hmm. are out there, mm -hmm. the people who have it, mm -hmm. that you and I cannot get there. Mm -hmm. So it's much so more... like they're chosen to be that 1%. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like... Ah, you can fight your way to that yeah, 1%. You can... So it's, a, it's actually a philosophy that mm -hmm. I, I may not be the best. Mm -hmm. I am because I am one percent. It means I need all these other ninety nine percent still. Mm -hmm. I still need them because we don't live as islands. Yes, we need to coexist. Yeah, we need to coexist. Uh -huh. And so the aspect of one percent is much more of you as an individual, Liani, being uh -huh. you, uh -huh. deciding to be. I won't be part of the statistic, uh -huh. but I'm where I am, uh -huh. and I'm fortunate, and I'm loving it. Uh -huh. Though I may not be where I want to be, uh -huh. I know where I'm going. You're fortunate. To be that one percent, yeah, wonderful, powerful words right there. Thanks. Uh, you are an artist. You're a music producer. Yeah, yeah. You are a trained teacher. Sure. Uh, <laughs> you have taught for a while. Yeah, I did. Uh, you have been part of a music group, and uh, out of all these things I've mentioned, I don't know which one comes first, the music group or or Compass. Take me back. Uh, so we, so I finished school. Hey, why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking In you back for two nine. Two nine. So two nine. Uh, 2010, mm -hmm. uh, we started a group called mm -hmm. T412. Mm -hmm. uh, Mohanji, Clive, mm -hmm. Jamie D, Milome. Milome, we actually went to school with Milome. Yeah. Oh. Yes, we went to the same high school. Wow, wow. Uh -huh. Amazing. Uh -huh. So, uh, after that, we, we did music for r around six years. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. it was really good. At that time, I was still in campus. Mm -hmm. And I finished campus, I started working, mm -hmm. still doing music. Mm -hmm. And it was really a good time, and uh -huh. I think we made memories, we made uh -huh. friendships. How did you guys actually link up T412? Uh, okay, T412 started as a click. Uh -huh. So you just, it was All a right, I'm assuming, uh, you guys are making uh, religious music. Yeah, you yeah. guys were preaching the word, you yeah, were yeah. preaching the gospel. Sure. Uh, you're still preaching the gospel. Yeah. You're still impacting people positively. Yeah. Uh, clicks, you, you're still rolling in clicks as well? Uh. <laughs> Okay, uh, something, there's something mm -hmm. my, my granddad told uh -huh. my dad. Mm -hmm. then and then told your dad told me. <laughs> yeah. All right. So he said, uh, things that you do in a group uh -huh. will help you. Uh -huh. But always know that you are responsible for what you do at the mm -hmm. end of the day. So know where the group comes in mm -hmm. and know where you as an individual you come, come in. in. Yeah. All right. And I've, I've come to learn that life is like water. Mm -hmm. So I enjoy the moments I have with people. Mm -hmm. So when I was in a crew, I loved it. Mm -hmm. Like I believed we would do this till we were seven. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm solo, mm -hmm. I'm loving it. You're so, loving it as well. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to imagine you as a teacher as well and still yeah. making music. How was the experience like? Uh, okay, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, like 
I used to teach about adverbs and proverbs. Uh -huh. But it was really interesting because I could use the music uh -huh. in the class setting. Uh -huh. So when talking about pronouns, you're still telling the person, yeah, this is how you do it in the first person, second person, third uh -huh. person. And it was really interesting. I really liked it. Uh -huh. But I found myself sometimes not really talking. Like I would find myself drifting to stories sometimes, uh -huh. telling people more about imparting them uh -huh. more than really teaching. But teaching what is required of you in the outline. Yeah, it, uh -huh. yeah I did that. Uh -huh. it, it was like, but... I really love I hope the your one -on -one session. employer is not watching right now. I know. <laughs> okay, if he's watching, perfect. Uh -huh. Because I really loved the off, se off teaching sessions. Uh -huh. you know? Like after teaching, mm -hmm. then now you come and talk, and you get to connect the students, mm -hmm. talk about life. That was the part. Like I loved the mm -hmm. lessons, uh -huh. but I loved the after lessons. Stuff. You love the after lessons. Yeah. Did they connect with you differently? Do you feel like the students connected with you different uh, from the other teachers in your? In your surrounding, being yeah. a young person, being somebody with that musicality, and you know, it's very easy to teach with music, to learn with to music. You, yeah. yeah. So uh, I think one thing that really made the students feel like I'm, I was one of them is mm -hmm. because I was young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And funny enough, it, the, like I taught first in a girls' school, uh -huh. so it really comes with its own <laughs> challenges. Yeah. It was a challenge, but. Like principles, you, know, you uh -huh. can't do some stuff. Yes, but uh, principles only extend to you. You don't know about other people's principles, you know. Yeah. Uh, and some people are going to come try to infringe. <laughs> to, yeah. You know, yeah. But I, like, I really try to be professional. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you know, the back stops with you. Mm -hmm. So I had to make sure that I keep what, like, what brought me there. there. All right. So it was we are not even talking about your business yet, <laughs> and I'm already <laughs> learning a lot from you. Uh, Thanks, man. When it comes to group dynamics, yeah. you need to understand your role as a person. Sure, sure. Uh, and when the group comes in. True, true. Uh, principles are very important. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so far, I have those two, two gems. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, understanding your power as an individual yeah, yeah. in the group dynamic, yeah. did it help you to get to where you are today, and is that the reason you're doing what you're doing today? Yeah, I think understanding that, all right, we're in a group, yeah. but for us to survive, I need to provide this, 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 and that. I need to always be active uh, and provide this, this, and that. Are these some of the things you're doing for yourself right now, and did it impact you uh, positive? Well, mm -hmm. I, I never thought I'd ever answer this question, uh -huh. ever. Uh -huh. and, but for real, it was, uh -huh. because... Uh, we had a, a mentor and a uh -huh. producer called Gala, mm -hmm. and he would give us advice, mm -hmm. uh, do this, do this, mm -hmm. and sometimes his advice would stop. Uh -huh. Then we have to do the work, you know, at uh -huh. the end of the day, and we had to now get to learn the links, where to do the branding, uh -huh. where to get to hire staff, how do you organize an event, uh -huh. how do you... Organize a shoot. How do you organize a shoot, uh -huh. how do you talk with corporates, uh -huh. and those moments are the moments that really even channeled us to where everyone is right now. Uh -huh. uh, from brand, like, because I had to now find out what are we dressing. Uh -huh. you know? So if, what are we selling for much? Uh -huh. Where are we, where are we getting them? Uh -huh. So we, by the way, we started with wristbands. Uh -huh. So we started with wristbands. The most simple, simple form of yeah. merchandise. Uh -huh. And guys were like, okay. Then they started buying, you know, uh -huh. at that time, wristbands were nowhere. Like uh -huh. you couldn't get custom wristbands. Uh -huh. So that's where we started. Then we now started, we went to pendants, uh -huh. we did t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Then slowly by slowly, other guys uh -huh. started asking for them. Uh -huh. And the rest is history. The business uh, grew. Yeah, the business grew, yeah. All right, so uh, over time, you learned a lot of things during sure. this process. Yeah. And now you have, uh, you have your own production studio. Sure, sure. You're producing for yourself, yeah. you're producing for other artists, yeah. you're co-working with other producers, yeah. uh, you're into branding, and uh, the branding aspect grew for sure. sure. Uh, I'd like to talk about this transitioning from having a music producer to now producing for yourself. How is it like? Uh, well, it's, it's really, I can't say that I'm there yet, because mm -hmm. I, I have a, like a partner, mm -hmm. it's called Ron, mm -hmm. he's really talented, he's really superb he's really good with the making beats and all uh -huh. 
and the engineering. Uh -huh. So I usually do like mostly of the art directing, uh -huh. the songwriting part, uh -huh. make like the producing part, mm -hmm. not the sound engineering and mm -hmm. all the other. Right. Yeah. Let me not get you lost in the details. Of uh -huh. the but uh, I'm also in the entertainment <laughs> industry, so you won't lose me as much. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so uh -huh. uh, on the Okay, I think I'm lost in you. Uh -huh. No, no worries. Yeah. Uh, production, transitioning from uh, having a producer to now directing your own yeah, production, yeah. having your own producer with you rather. Right mm. Yeah, so uh, after we took a break mm -hmm. from the group, uh, I was able to get, I was fortunate to join Nylab. Mm -hmm. So where uh, we were told all about business models, mm -hmm. nini, nini. Mm -hmm. and we were able to now like restructure mm -hmm. our businesses. Mm -hmm. Then... I we did a crowdfunding. It was mm -hmm. my first time. Mm -hmm. It was really. Which platform did you use to to crowdfund? It was called. Uh, it was called Next Economy. Next so, Economy. Yeah, right. facilitated by Nylab. Uh -huh. So with uh, what we were able to get, we bought a microphone, uh -huh. and that's how we started. Uh -huh. So we are also like planning on now increasing our. Uh -huh. Output and uh -huh. doing more. Yani. All right, and yeah. investing more in the business. Yeah, yeah. All right, so crowdfunding was a source of capital. For it you. was a source, yeah. All right, uh, does it work? Yeah, it it worked. It worked. It worked. All right. Yeah. The people who contribute uh, mm. contributed. Do they follow up in the in the business? Did, are they all uh, all up in your space asking <laughs> what are you doing now? Well, yeah, how did uh, this go? How did this go? They really. Uh, they really co and and co signed. Mm -hmm. Uh, partners because mm -hmm. they're really involved like mm -hmm. if I put out anything out there mm -hmm. they'll be the people that will they're your the fast time, fans. yeah they'll ask what have you done with this how are you how can we help you in this and uh -huh. this they're really instrumental and I really value their feedback and their relationship all right so I recently had uh, guys <coughs> who are trying to to bring this crowdfunding concept yeah. uh, in the country sure because uh, they realized uh, most of the people with ideas banks don't like us man <laughs> yeah we don't <laughs> we don't have assets to take loans yeah, yeah, yeah. so crowdfunding is a future for kenyan youth uh, yeah. who have ideas true true uh, what are some of the tips you can give uh, somebody who's looking to raise capital this way uh i can okay because i can say mine wasn't as successful mm -hmm. but i learned something out mm -hmm. of it but most say uh really focus on the important things uh -huh. the important thing they put like what do you need because uh -huh. i i had this audacious goal yani uh -huh. audacious yani like <laughs> and we were able it's to get to we were able to get i think is it was it 1% or, uh -huh. or 2 or like 10% of uh -huh. it of of what we had planned for uh -huh. so and that was able to get something. So if, if sometimes, if it, when it comes to crowdfunding, uh -huh. either reduce your, no, get to focus on what is the really the important most important thing. thing. Yeah, don't. So expectations, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And expect help from people that you don't expect. All right. Yeah. Expect, uh, control, be able to manage your expectations. True, you right. put it perfectly. Yeah, manage your expectations uh -huh. and You'll get help. Be ready for surprises. Yeah, well. surprises, yeah. <laughs> All right. Remember, we're on White by 4 channel on Twitter, White by 4 underscore channel on Instagram, and White by 4 on Facebook. And this is that day that the BBI report drops. And we have, we have a question on Facebook for you guys. What are you expecting in this report? And do you think it's going to impact us the way it's intended to? That is on Facebook. We are looking forward to your feedback. And we'll be sharing them with the world uh, towards the end of the show. <laughs> So, uh, my guy, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk about branding now, yeah. which is something you're really passionate about. Sure, sure. Uh, you started quite simply without even knowing you were branding. <laughs> yeah, with yeah. wristbands, yeah, yeah. you went to t-shirts, yeah. but now you're doing it for yourself and yeah. other clients. Yeah. How was it like? It's really a good uh, uh -huh. experience and a space to be in. Mm -hmm. And the, the process of creating, mm -hmm. because, you know, Okay, words fail me. Mm -hmm. And you can have, a client can have this concept, mm -hmm. then bring it to life. Yani. Uh -huh. The process of bring what they want mm -hmm. to life mm -hmm. is really, I love that process. Yani. Mm -hmm. So when someone says, I want this t-shirt looking like this, or mm -hmm. I want... Or I want to achieve this, this but I need some branding. On this line. So it's really the process towards that is really 
what I really enjoy, mm -hmm. the changing and all that, and mm -hmm. making it sometimes even supersede what they wanted. All right. So it's really, it's the process is what I really like. The process is what you really like. Yeah. All right, so uh, some corporates or some people have been accused yeah. of being very good at branding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, average products. Yeah, 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 yeah. The product is not so much, but the branding is superb. True, true, true. And when you do this, you run the risk of yeah. uh, achieving very good first week sales yeah, when yeah. it comes to music. True, true. You have a, a good chance of achieving very good uh, launches, but in the long run, it yeah. doesn't happen. How do you manage to, to, to balance the product and the branding? Uh, I think using the, the five P's, any yani like the product, the uh -huh. price, uh, mostly the product and the price uh -huh. and the value that the people want uh -huh. because that's where people fall short uh -huh. so they want this price uh -huh. or they want this value uh -huh. but the price is way up uh -huh. and sometimes you have to reach a consensus like this is uh -huh. what you want uh -huh. and this is what i can offer you uh -huh. and sometimes i notice some if if we don't get this clear way before uh -huh. these are things that really come back and they really hurt you. They really hurt you. Yeah, they really are, like I've really, like I've had situations where I someone was like, I want this at this price. So mm -hmm. I went, you, like when you put the value, uh -huh. like the price before the value, uh -huh. sometimes you really get to hurt yourself. Yeah? You hurt yourself as a business person. Yeah. Sometimes even right. emotionally. <laughs> like, why? Then you're like, why did? Why did we start all this all together? All right. So it's sometimes just having to understand this is what you want and this mm -hmm. is what will cost we, you uh, and this is what we can go for. This is what we can get. Yeah. This is what I want. Yeah. What I want is always here. Yeah, it's always the, what you can <laughs> what you can get is always somewhere yeah. here. Yeah. And then what you're going to get is always <laughs> So m comes back to what you said, managing expectations. Uh -huh. So how do we bridge this discrepancy? Uh -huh between what you want uh -huh. and what you get. How can we make it really seamless? How uh -huh. can we bring it to what you want? And this you can only learn over time. Yeah, it All can right. be time, yeah. Let's get a taste of what you do in Living Color. So maybe if we can get some pictures on the screen uh, to show us uh, what our brother Eutychus, <laughs> AKA Mr. Fortune, <laughs> uh, does on the side. But remember, we are on Facebook at white 54 on Twitter at white 54 underscore channel, and on Instagram, on Instagram at white 254 channel. All right, so this is you right here. Not, <laughs> not like, <laughs> this is your work. <laughs> In that yeah. sense, this yeah. is your work right here. Yeah. All right, so uh, what is happening here? So uh, this, is, this is a poncho. Uh -huh. It's not yet, it doesn't have any brand. Uh -huh. So usually we create samples. Stuff, yeah, samples. Uh -huh. Then if you want now to get it branded, uh -huh. like maybe your name or your company or, uh -huh. or your logo, now that's when you take it away further. All right, so this might end up with a company logo. Yeah, it can end up with a company logo. So companies are going for things like this, custom-made things yeah, like cust this. But most it, companies and also individuals. Also indi individuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are some people who just want their names uh, on, their, yeah. on their stuff, people, but they're just a typical, a typical lawyer, a typical yeah. teacher, a typical doctor, but they'd like to have their name on a piece of clothing that they own. True. Som sometimes not even really their name. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a mantra that they live by. All right. Something that the they message. love. Yeah. So someone may not really put their name, uh -huh. but they can... Uh, put something about yeah. them. Something that speaks... Speaks for them. Speaks for them. Yeah. All right, I feel that. This is also another sample right sure, there. Sure, sure. All right. Who's taking the pictures, by the way? Uh, Are these the pictures that you sent to clients? Yeah, or I do, yeah. To show them the samples that you yeah, have? Yeah, yeah. Who takes the pictures? Uh... Okay, I work with several studios uh -huh. and several photographers, yeah. All right, so you're yeah. a toss when yeah, it comes to that. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, in how soon? God willing. God willing. <laughs> God willing. All yeah. right, so this is also a sample for guests, yeah. including the hat. Yeah, yeah. This is another one. Yeah. All right, this is, this is my favorite so far. <laughs> the, the brown one. Yeah. The brown jumper right there. Sure. That is my favorite so far. This is also a sample. Yeah, it's a sample, yeah. All right, why don't you just turn this to a clothesline? <laughs> Mm. Baby steps. Baby steps. Yeah, yeah. 
baby steps. All right, so we need that. That is a lesson you've also learned yeah. in the course of doing yeah. business. Yeah. All right, so baby steps. You need to. Why baby steps? Uh, why not just go in? Because you always told, take t take risks in business. Uh, I I I'm I'm learning. Okay, I was reading this book. Mm -hmm. It's called Contagious, uh -huh. and why things mm -hmm. why things catch on, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's those things that you don't expect that make make things catch on. Mm -hmm. So I'm really working on that space, mm -hmm. and I'm not forcing myself into it. All right. Yeah. According to this book, Contagious. Yeah. Uh, after reading Contagious, why yeah. do you think Gengeton really caught on to? to ah. the market right like that there's the aspect of being hip uh -huh. people love talking uh -huh. so the uh you want to be in the know uh -huh. like for example yesterday the 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 lady pasta who did oh, the, the video so like everyone wants to share it so uh -huh. that they can be in the know shareability yeah like you want to you want to be that person who knows uh -huh. and those are like there are sev seven and we can't talk about uh -huh. all of them, but like now that the social capital that comes with you being in the know all right. is really... So if your product has that talkability... Yeah, talkability. And that controversy appeal, around it. Uh, that's just one aspect. Uh -huh. There's a lot of aspects. Like the aspect of people want to be asc ascribed to it. All right. People want to show... Like why, do, why, do, why would people... Why would... For example, we m in Kenya, EPZ, uh -huh. Uh -huh. we... We do Calvin Klein uh -huh. in EPZ. We do le Levis in EPZ. Uh -huh. But they go out there, then they come back. But when you, but w we don't even think that these things are made I in Kenya. I never knew about that. These things are All made right. in Kenya. So we, we, it's the aspect of, it's emotional, yeah? uh -huh. it's spiritual by the uh -huh. way. So it, you need to connect with these people yeah. and it takes a while. Takes that is while. why baby steps are very important when it comes to business. Yeah, baby steps and, and I think also putting God in it. Like uh -huh. there's a lot of, there's, there's really a very strong uh -huh. spiritual aspect uh -huh. that comes in business that we don't, uh -huh. and that's what even makes some people tick and uh -huh. Some things not to work. You're a true minister of the word. We're <laughs> going to be talking about the word in a few. Sure. Uh, I see some recurrent faces. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Are these your resident models? They're very good friends of mine and uh -huh. partners. We work with them, like, I work with them on very different fronts. Mm -hmm. uh, like, for example, this, uh, she's called One Boy, she does beads. Uh -huh. Maybe you can see them, like, she's the one who does the beading. Mm -hmm. And then, it's Sylvia. Mm -hmm. She's she's one. She's also a partner in what we do. All right. Yeah. Wonderful, man. So uh, I think we have captured every aspect. The, the more, but it's okay. uh, <laughs> the more, but yeah. at least they got a taste yes. of what's happening. Sure. We have captured the aspect of uh, you, music in your yeah. business, yeah. the branding aspect. Uh, you as a person, yeah. uh, but. Uh, as a minister of the word, I know it's very it's very unfair for you for me to let you leave without speaking something uh, about about your drive and about the, re the, the the reason that you do this thing, and the reason you do this thing is to win souls uh, to the kingdom. Sure, sure. For, oh, for the kingdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. When 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 did you actually get this? What do you call it? The, pa in the, <laughs> the light. When did you see the light? Uh, I think I've always been the, like the black sheep in the family, uh -huh. and how convenient. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> and I can say, uh -huh. uh, I've through the emotions, Yani, and I've learned that sometimes we don't play what we believe. Mm -hmm. It's it's very all these other people who are in business, for example. Well, the other day we were talking in church and mm -hmm. they were saying like when you go to all these other people if mm -hmm. it's a hindu mm -hmm. if it's an like they will always put their religion mm -hmm. and th they put their religion affects their business mm -hmm. and also i think as uh mm -hmm. being christians mm -hmm. we need to also let mm -hmm. our belief affect our business yet as christians i believe okay, i also apologize we have really failed in this yes for we're sure really, Business and church are different. Yeah, and uh -huh. for, for example, 
you'll, you'll find that even our prices are very exuberant, you mm -hmm. see. If it's very capitalistic. Yeah, yeah, like we don't, like we'll say about loving your neighbor. Uh -huh. But when it comes to business, you're going to overcharge that. You'll overcharge the neighbor. Uh -huh. So it's we. It, there's a discrepancy between what we believe and the mm -hmm. way we live. And we'll give our neighbors expensive loans. Uh, exp we'll uh, give our neighbors <laughs> overpriced over true. products. We'll give our neighbors uh, bad quality bad stuff. Yeah. But when we look at other religions, we can improve it on this. Yeah. We see how the Muslim religion affects their businesses. True. Uh, they, they close shop during Ramadan. Yeah, they do. All of them. All of them. But, they, but when it comes to, they understand that what they're doing, like the business, is still an aspect of worship. The business is still an aspect. That is the most powerful <laughs> thing you've told me today. So as a Christian, you need to challenge yourself. Yeah. If you're a Christian in business and you're representing uh, Christians in business, yeah. you need to understand that uh, the business is also... Uh, what of worship again? It's, it's worship. Uh -huh. Like what you do is still worship. Uh -huh. Everything that we do, bury you as here uh -huh. as you... Uh -huh. as you as you enlighten the people, uh -huh. as you give them uh -huh. awesome nuggets. News. And, yeah. As I inform them. As you inform them. <laughs> as you do, like, uh -huh. you still, it's still worship. It's still worship. It's still worship. And if you're a Christian, you should always live by it. Yeah. Introduce your song. You're going to take my job for a while. Introduce <laughs> your song so we can play it. And uh, before you introduce the song, remind them your social media handles yeah. and the business social media handles. Sure. And then introduce the song so we can wrap this up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My name is Uticus mm -hmm. Tepken Siroy, mm -hmm. fortunate. Uh, my IG is 42N8 underscore T412. I still go with T412. Uh, Facebook is Uticus, fortunate Tepken Siroy. Uh, the next song is, this song is called I Need You, uh, produced by Ron, performed and written by yours truly. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. So much pleasure being here. You forgot the most important YouTube channel. Oh, YouTube channel, <laughs> uh, Uticus, just Uticus. Uticus, please spell that out for them. <laughs> e U T Y C H U S. E U T Y C H U S. C H U S. Thank you very much, Mr. Uticus, Thank for coming so through to Y in the morning. I really we appreciate, appreciate you. We are going to be listening to his song. He has a lot of wise words to say, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't change in the music. So we have come to the end of this. Remember, on Facebook, you have a question: uh, What are you expecting in the BBI, and do you think it's going to affect us or the? intended way we are looking forward to your feedback we are going to be sampling it uh, towards the end of the show my name is by Moses or it's by more on every social media platform Alex is coming up next with another interview you don't want to miss it